Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today on the menu, we're making an old time beef vegetable soup. It's perfect. It's soup season, so let's get started. I'm going to start off by seasoning some stew meat with some tawny sasseries. Get both sides. I want to season this a little heavy. And I'm using four beef shanks to get that bone marrow flavor in there. I'm going to brown this down. I want to get a good fawn on the bottom of that pot to give that flavor to the soup. Once it's done, remove that. We're adding a trinity. Celery, bell peppers, and onions. I'm going to sweat this down, break that stuff off the bottom, and add the meat. You can see I cut that meat up too. I just used the kitchen shears. It makes it so easy to do. And then the easy part, we're just dumping vegetables. Here's a soup mix. Potatoes, tomatoes, green beans, carrots, corn, and celery. And then I'm adding a small bag of baby lima beans. You don't have to add the lima beans if you don't like them. I grew up on it, so that's what I'm using. And one can of sweet corn, just to sweeten that soup up a little bit. And at this point, I should have used a bigger pot, but we're going to struggle through this anyway. So I'm just using generic tomato juice. The only time I'll add water is when it reduces and I need some. But we'll just fill it up, put the lid on there, and get it simmering. You'll see how easy this is. You're pretty much done with it here. All you're doing is playing with it, stirring it, letting it cook. After it comes up to a simmer, I'm gonna remove the lid, crank the heat up a little bit higher and just let it simmer at a low ball for an hour. You can see how nice and thick that's getting already. All those flavors are melting together. Oh yeah, you can tell this is gonna be good right here. So I'm gonna simmer this for an hour. After that, I'm gonna add some baking soda. Not the one from the fridge, buy some good baking soda. I'm gonna add 1 8 teaspoon in here you'll see it start foaming up. It's neutralizing all that acid in the tomatoes. So anybody with heartburn is gonna thank you. But we want a nice sweet broth with this soup. So I'll stir this around until it stops foaming. And then I'm gonna add a tablespoon of sugar just to sweeten it up a little bit. You can use this same technique on any tomato sauce recipe that you use. Spaghetti, chili, it works the same and you will not taste it. So after about an hour, skim off all that fat and the foam, get all that yucky stuff out of there. You don't need that in there. And then we're gonna add two cups of water just to bring the level back up. At this point, we're pretty much done. I'm just gonna bring it back up to a simmer, let it cook another two hours till the meat gets real tender. And at that time, Taste it for salt and pepper. Adjust to your taste, and when you're good, it's time to plate up. Look at that gravy on there. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. Hope you enjoyed the recipe. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click that bell for notifications, and y'all cook that.